Good morning. This car is somewhat unusual in that um, it took us quite some time to get it here. It's, uh, cross, it's crossing an international border, a car from Toronto, Canada. And uh, to get these cars, if they're not driving into the United States, is uh, usually far more difficult than just simply driving it across the border. So what also makes this car somewhat unusual is the um, cooperation that we received from the Toronto Tesla Service Center in uh, preparing the car for shipment here so that it could go through a battery recovery. The problem with the car is it got bricked and uh, again in roadster terms that means that the car wasn't charged for a month or two and reached a point where the Tesla charge port door will no longer accept the charge. Um, to resolve that we go inside the battery pack and we do a diff uh, two different levels of uh, repair or recovery. One of them is a recovery while the battery remains in the car and that's usually only usable if the car has been bricked uh, three to four months or so. If it's been bricked longer than that, then it requires a battery pull, which you can see in this vehicle here. Um, it requires dropping the battery pack out of the car. Uh, you have to remove the rear suspension components. It's a lot more entailed. And then we have to go inside the battery pack and actually repair sheets or replace sheets. And you can see some of the spare sheets that we have over there on the high voltage battery table. Now, this car finally arrived yesterday morning all the way from Toronto, Canada, across an international border. And uh, as soon as they get here, we give them a bath. They oftentimes come in open carrier, which means they are out in the weather and uh, they can get pretty grungy. If it's an enclosed carrier, generally that means they're going to be fairly clean. This one was enclosed carrier, but it needed a bath anyway. It had been sitting at the uh, Tesla Roadster Service Center outside for a while. When it came in, the first thing we do is assess the health of the battery. And uh, we use laptops to do that, going right into the vehicle management system ports. And the next thing we do is we start a recovery process using specialized equipment like this. So here we have some sophisticated test equipment that we developed and charging systems. And what we're doing here is actually feeding DC voltage back into the battery pack in a very controlled manner. Um, this pack ended up because Tesla cooperated fully with this and uh, pulled a service plug. I'll show you what that looks like. The large battery there in a Tesla Roadster has a service disconnect plug. If this is removed after a car is bricked, it stops the phantom drain on the battery, which makes it a lot more recoverable and we get a longer window of time to attempt a recovery. If this plug is left in the car, in the battery pack, there are devices in the car that are consuming some of that energy in that battery pack. There's a coolant pump, for example, a 12-volt DC motor that runs almost continuously. And a car can get bricked fairly quickly or get bricked beyond repair if this service plug is left plugged in the ESS battery pack. Fortunately, Tesla removed this before the car was shipped, so we had plenty of time to get it here. And when it arrived yesterday morning, we had a string voltage of 145 volts, which is quite healthy actually. It needs to get up to 300 plus, but with 145 volts, we suspect that this, this could be a quick level one recovery, meaning that we don't have to pull the battery pack. So what we're about to do here is, we've reached the voltage level of over 330 volts DC at this point. And what we're going to do here in a few minutes is put the car back together, put the service plug back in, and then attempt a charge port charge using the Tesla charge cable, which this car hasn't been able to do for about three or four months or so. Okay, so we're going to be installing the service disconnect plug now. And that goes into the battery. And that will fire up the uh, wire. 
Now typically what you do is you take off that wheel back there to get down to this plug, but some of us can actually get it from up above here and save a whole bunch of uh, time and effort. And then just like that. With the service plug back in the ESS pack, at this point the car begins a wake up routine and in a few seconds here you'll start to hear the car beeping and it begins to talk to us. The uh, 12 volts will come back on, we'll see the screen light up, and uh, then the last phase will be trying the charge port door which has been disabled now for two to three months. Peter has the laptop connected into the VMS port. We'll be able to see a lot of activity in the car. Are you starting to see? From the battery. Okay, so there's some CAN bus signals starting to stream. Kilometers, there's the battery. Uh-oh, still under voltage. Ooh, sheet two. That one's shot. Sheet two is having a problem? Yeah, but everyone else is pretty good. Critical brick under voltage fault. Yep. So what we were hoping for this morning, that the uh, sheets were all healthy after a quick charge like this, turns out to not be the case. The car is reporting that there is a brick, which is uh, one of nine sections in a sheet. And there are 11 sheets in the Tesla Roadster battery pack. One of those bricks is under voltage. And in a moment here, we'll begin to see what the voltage level is. Um, Half a, no, five tenths. Five, five tenths hundreds, of a volt. Hundredths of a volt. Five hundredths of a volt, okay. So, so this charge zero. port door, which we would normally have expected to be able to take a charge, will not take one, and I will prove that at this point. With a brick that low, it will give us an error. what we had hoped would be just a level one recovery without having to pull the battery pack uh, ended up being a sheet replacement. We plug the uh, Tessa charge port cable back into the car and in the meantime we were taking readings with the laptop to see what each of the sheet conditions was and what we found was there are two bad bricks in one sheet which is a good thing because if they were uh, if there was a bad brick in two sheets, it would mean that two sheets would have to be replaced. In this case, both of the bad bricks were in one sheet, so we're going to have to do a battery pull, which is identical to what we've done with this Roadster here. Open it up and um, remove one of these 11 sheets here. Each of these sheets, by the way, has 621 uh, lithium ion cells, 18650 cells. The actual sheet that we're going to uh, replace looks like this. And this is a Tesla Roadster sheet. There are 11 of these in a pack. And uh, we're going to um, select one that matches the CAC values of that car and uh, replace it within the next few weeks to make the car operational again.